So very good evening everybody, welcome to the Milton Keynes Lining live stream. It's Sunday night here at the Milton Keynes Arena and tonight's visitors to the arena for this elite league game are Brayhead clan. Now Lightning had a night off last night, Brayhead had a very very hard fought win so they're going to be looking for maximum points next weekend, uh, this weekend sorry. So have Lightning been sufficiently rested? Well we'll find out. Let's take a look. Second by the Cherry, Schofield will come in this time round. And once again that puck almost breaks out Phillips now. Vero Paul, 27 seconds left on the Lightning power play. Gives that to Kearney. Phillips over to King. One timer, right hand to uh, left hand side. Puck bubbles, almost bubbles in front of the, the clan goal. Isaacson looking to put that down onto Hudson stick. Hudson coming center ice and goes high. And they'll blow the whistle on that. Hook now. Box hill. Straight across to Hudson. Hudson with the shot. It goes slightly over. Gary Russell grabbed at that with his catcher and I need to look to go and get a change to get some more fresh legs on the ice. To set and Vero Paul. Forwards on now along with Kearney. It comes all the way over to Brooks. Brooks now looks to feed that in. That's goal. That's a well worked out goal from Clan. That was Brooks over on this left hand side. Just put it straight in front of the uh, of the defenders and Bobbles around Mika Vickman's goal. Goal comes off its uh, moorings, and that's the reason for it being called back. Fellow Paul on the boards. Doucette gives that to Denny Kearney. Shot comes in. That was Essery once again with the wrist shot. Fellow Paul. Essery. There now. Clan looking to really make things happen and Vickman with the safe glove once again. Sparse results so far throughout this game. Hudson. Lightning now starting to exert a bit of pressure and digging around for that and under, underneath Gary, Gary Russell and the Clan Netminder manages to cover that. Well, they couldn't quite get there. King breaks to King and He'll flick that down. Isaacson. And he follows that in. King once again going in. Lightning gets slightly lucky as the puck comes off the official's uh, official scale, otherwise Clown would have been away. Once again, they get the shot in and it's tipped very slightly. Look for the wrap round. Nets come off and the referee will blow that. As Mickman, Vickman tried to push off. Just caught that near post with his skate. One. So hi everybody, I'm here with Lightning Captain Kevin King. Lightning of course lost 1-0 to Brayhead Clan tonight here at the Milton Keynes Arena. Kevin, it's, I guess it's never easy to take a result like that. It's one of those really frustrating games. Yeah, obviously, you know, not to put up any goals on the board there, it, uh, it's a tough, tough one to deal with. But we did play well for a couple minutes and here and there, but uh, it obviously wasn't enough to come out on top. Is it tough not having a game like last night? Because obviously Clan came off a, of a win last night, picked up their two points, and obviously they're going to come down and, and they really want that maximum point weekend. Is it sometimes a little bit more difficult to have that rest night? Yeah, it can go one way or the other. I mean, you can come out with a lot of energy um, and and be flying, or you can feed off the game from the night before uh, and, and be fresh that way too. So it can go one way or the other. Uh, I thought... I thought we carried the play enough to obviously score a goal period, but uh, to score more than them. But obviously they uh, they wanted to win tonight pretty bad, so we uh, we didn't do what it took to to come out on top again. Missing uh, big Matt Nickerson tonight as well, which obviously put the strain you as well, having four regular D. Uh, Kyle Essery still standing in there and still still quitting himself really well, but still makes it tough for those guys. Yeah, of course. Uh, with Kyle back there, he's obviously done a great job, but he's he's a forward by nature. So having uh, Nicker out, it does leave a hole, and he soaks up a lot of quality minutes on our back end. So uh, we'll be excited to have him back come the next game. 
So big game next week here at the arena. Uh, Sheffield Steelers are in town, face off is seven o'clock, obviously. So what work do you guys do now between now and then? Is it just back to the drawing board, just work on the basics, the fundamentals, just get things back flowing again? Yeah, obviously we won the previous three games, uh, if not more. But, you know, one game doesn't define our season. So all we have to do is keep pressing forward and put this one behind us. The thing about being a hockey player is you have to have a pretty short-term memory. So uh, we got to forget about this one, move on, um, take the positives away from this and uh, forget about it. Brilliant. Well, Kevin, well, thanks very much for taking the time to all of us. I know it's a tough loss tonight, but uh, don't forget, of course, Sheffield uh, Steelers are in town next week. Seven o'clock face-off. Get yourself on the Lightning website or call the box office here at Planet Ice to secure your seats. Seven o'clock face-off Saturday night. We'll see you there.